In this video, we're going to look at a few examples that deal with expressions and uh, solving equations and simplifying some, some of these things here. So let's start with example one. Frank has 10 DVD movies, which is four less than twice the amount that Cruz has. How many DVDs does Cruz have? So I really don't care what Frank has. All I care is that he has 10 of them, uh, 10 things, whatever it is. It could be CDs or, uh, you know, sandwiches. I, I, I really don't care. But Frank has 10 of something. And the word is uh, means equals. So 10 equals, what is what comes after the word is, well, we have four. Then we have this word less, which means to subtract. Uh, and now the word then. This word right here is very important. We'll come back to that in just a bit. Twice the amount that Cruz has. Well, Cruz, well, twice the amount that Cruz has. We don't know what Cruz has, but we know that this guy has twice the amount of whatever Cruz has. So we'll call that C for Cruz. Now, it looks like we have an equation set up and ready to go. So we have 10 equals 4 minus 2C. The problem is that this word than right here. This word than tells us to go in reverse order. So instead of reading it as 4 minus 2C, we go backwards and say 2C minus 4. So our equation becomes 10 is equal to 2C minus 4. And once you get to this part, I'm fairly confident that you can go ahead and solve this equation. In fact, I encourage you to pause the video and go ahead and try to solve this equation and see if you get the answer uh, that I get in just a second. So assuming that you've paused the video, this is how we solve this problem. If I want to get rid of the negative 4, I'm going to go ahead and add 4 to both sides. So by doing that, on the left side, I now have 10 plus 4, which is a 14. On the right side, these 4s cancel out, and I'm left with 2c. Now, if I want to get rid of that 2c, what I have to do is go ahead and divide both sides by 2. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to divide that by 2, and I'm going to divide this by 2. This go, uh, is going to go ahead and reduce, leaving us just with c on the right side. And now we just have 14 divided by 2. 14 divided by 2 is just 7. Moving on to the next example, uh, we have, let's see. We have Alex's age is 3x plus 2 years, and Jack's age is 5 less than twice Abraham's age. Hold up. I think there's a mistake here. This should be Alex. We don't even know who Abraham is in this story. So again, the two gentlemen that they're talking about are Alex and Jack. So they tell us the first, the first part of the sentence tells us that Alex is 3x plus 2. So we can call that A. So A is equal to 3x plus 2. Remember the word is means equals. Uh, let's look at Jack here. So Jack, so they say Jack, we can call that J. Uh, his age, again, we don't care what they're talking about, but we just know that the word is means equals 5. Less than means to subtract. And again, remember the word than. we got to watch out for that. Twice Alex's age. Well, two times Alex's age. So again, keep in mind that word than does not have us read the equation as 5 minus 2a, but rather 2a minus 5. Now, all we have to do from this point on is substitute what a is into Jack's equation. So if we do this, we're now going to have 2 times whatever Alex's age is, minus 5. But remember, they said at the beginning of the story that Alex was 3x, 3x plus 2. Now from here again, I encourage you to pause the video, try to simplify this on your own, and see if you end up with the same answer as I do, or the, the same answer that I get. Uh, here, 2 times 3 gives us a 6x. 2 times 2 is a positive 4. And then we drop down this minus 5. So now we have 6x, and then 4 minus 5 just becomes a negative, a negative 1.